Hello, everybody. We're live. Hello. It's me and Arrow today. Hello, everybody. We're live. Oh, that's my Hello. audio check. My audio check is good. Audio is good. <laughs> Here we go. Hi, Sasha. Also, um, so I was telling Arrow, this is going to be a little bit short because I want to have time. Oh, fuck. I always forget something. God damn it. Oh, I know where I am now. Okay. There you go. I'm so sorry. I always forget something. There you go. First playthrough. Sa Shan, Sasha made sure I've been checking out the Deltarune charity event. Also, Shan, every what time you say that? charity, I've noticed you say you've spelled it with a D. Is that how you thought it was spelled, or is or you or is that like a bis type of bit? Elena, you just don't know how it's spelled. Oh, okay, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's how Spamton spells it. Oh, okay, so it is a bis type of bit, but it comes from Spamton. Gotcha. Um, there's been a lot of, there's been a lot of lore, um, in this. Um, a lot of lore about Spamton. It turns out that, uh, Noel created him. Oh, how? By downloading mods for a cat game that she was playing. That's cool. Um, it, by the, disc there was like a greater description of it at one point. Um, and it's just exactly, uh, pets. Like the old pets with the Z. Where, like, oh, all the yeah. little animals are, like, made out of spheres. Um. And she said she got a spam email that was just, like, a bunch of random text, right? Um. And she thought it was a virus or something at first, but then she decided to load it in as a mod for the, for the pets game. Um, and it just loaded in a blue sphere. Huh. Um, which then started multiplying itself until the game crashed, and she had to wipe her save file. Um, does that... Sounds a little bit like, uh, the Peepus, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, and that's... This explains why Spamton is a cat in the files of the game. He's classified as a cat. Um, Noelle downloaded, like, a car mod, that's where the Kungadero comes from, there was, like, birds involved, so, so Spamton is part bird, so it's confirmed that his hair is canonically feathers. Huh. Yeah. So much, because I, I, I was talking about, I love this because, like, um, originally... Everybody thought that Spamton was just... He, rep he represented spam emails that were, like, on those computers in the library, right? Like, that was about the extent of it. Um, apparently it's a lot deeper than that. <laughs> like, whenever he's talking about Mama, he's talking about Noelle, because she created him, basically. Noelle's his Mama. There was a Q&A thing with Spamton that they did, and somebody asked him about that. Um, and he tried to deny it. But it was in a way that where it was like... wasn't very convincing. <laughs> oh, why is the stream overloaded? What the hell? Why is this happening probably, lately? Probably because I started doing this... Oh, yes, that's it. I don't know why we can't do that anymore. Why does that overload that the weird. system? I don't really know. So yeah, he's a bird. That's why he, like, hatched from an egg. <laughs> this way there's, like, egg stuff. And he's talking about the special, like, the, the eggs are really related to all of this for some reason. Like, the egg behind the tree. With the guy. And like... 
Um, when he's talking about this, there was there was like some like egg glitch in Noel's game, and like there was like the word special came up. So we know when Spamton's talking about the special deal, he's talking about this egg thing. Stuff like that, it's wild. There's also a bunch of stuff, um... About, like, Noelle's sister. Um, oh yeah, December? Yeah, and stuff implying that she got lost in a dark world. Um, and that's what happened to her. And or that she met Gaster. <laughs> or whatever, like... Huh. Whatever thing that they're building up is behind the scenes, which seems to be Gaster. But who knows? Gaster's very mysterious. Who knows what's going on there? Um, mm -hmm. And also, uh, people are piecing together that it's probably Noelle's mom who's going around and opening all the dark worlds trying to find December. So, yeah. <laughs> No, Essence of Waluigi will be on, um, Thursday. <laughs> However, today we get to see my game demo. I'll be streaming that. Yell it. Somehow that's 11 meters away. Sasha's personal theory is she thinks that Des found the bunker, but it was unlocked and met Gaster, and that's when she disappeared. Uh, I can see that. I think- I was telling Sasha last night, I think that the bunker is probably, like, the last location that they're going to go to in Delta Rhythm. Like, everything seems set up to be, like, that's the grand finale. Whatever's in there. Also, of course, they said that they're releasing chapters 3, 4, and 5 all at once next year, or... Well, I don't know if it's going to be next year, but some, at some point after this year. Um, yeah. That's going to be a long stream, because episode 1 and 2 alone took a lot of streams, so... Uh, we're in it for the long haul with Delta Rune on the stream. <laughs> also, yes, Sasha? You've said my name? So I'm kind of trapped in this hallway right now. By Olivia Song. Also, I don't know- where's Abigail's cabin? Apparently it's like right there. How do I get there? Oh, A. Foy. That must Go be her there. name. Yeah, Abigail Foy. Oh, it was right there. There's an old Toby Fox song for the comic Cucumber Quest called Nightmare Night. The leap motif in Delta Round. Or the leap motif is in Delta Round. The new lore with Chris playing the piano. But yeah, there was a, there was an interesting there was an interesting like because because they've been releasing like blog posts from Noel essentially, right? Mm -hmm. And in one of them, she talked about how um, Chris would come over to her house to play. And every once in a while they would excuse themselves and then like to go to the kitchen or something and I wouldn't come back and she would just find them playing the piano um, until they noticed she was looking and then they would stop. And so she just kept trying, she just kept pretending that she wasn't in the room or that she was asleep or whatever and would just listen to Chris play the piano. <laughs> yeah, and they, and, they, and they posted the piano playing and it was just like... It was almost like crazy bus level of nonsense. Mm -hmm. It was just like it was just like it was like is that that's what Chris was playing? Okay, there was just like several things about Chris being sort of not all there, and like it was like was Chris even my friend? Was Chris like what were they thinking about? You know that kind of thing. <laughs> Just kind of stuff that's already in the game, but, like, still interesting <laughs> to be expanded upon. 
Like, there was one about, like, Chris getting bullied by Susie, and Chris being sort of the scarier one in the situation. Hmm. Like, Chris was just, like, 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 Susie, like, like, bit off, bit half an apple. Oh, right. Oops, that person exploded. Um, it was like, this'll be your head, or whatever, you know? Yeah. And, like, Chris wasn't reacting at all. Um, she was like, come on, say something, and then, and then they just started, like, laughing, essentially, right? Like, chuckling. Um, and then they took the apple and took a bite out of it, and then Susie got really mad and was, like, saying some, like, really nasty stuff to them, um, and then Noelle said that she saw Chris, like, open their mouth, maybe just slightly, couldn't even tell if they said something, and then, like, Susie went, like, really pale and scared and ran out. Hmm. So what did, what did Chris say? <laughs> So this person got their head stuck in a pillow. I just want to point out that that's happening. Yeah, you ever get your head stuck in a pillow? <laughs> it's very relatable. Do -do -do. Chris is very intriguing to me. Well, what was I looking for in this? Well, I was obviously looking for a voice clip. Yeah, I believe you're looking for voice But I haven't found anything. Oh, I can hack this. Hacking is such a good skill to have in this and in uh, System Shock. Oops. Like, okay. I was able to make so much more progress in System Shock once I unlocked hacking. Then I didn't have to go around finding passwords or etc. anymore, or remembering yeah, I passwords. Think it kind of suits your style, Elena. Oh. Like I don't know. It's just like you tend to play like a little bit less. You tend to play a little bit more brute forcey. You know what I mean? I see. It. And hacking's a good. Also, way you're still play really play. quiet. I'm noticing your audio levels. I have you at like 200%. I have you, I've like turned you up as much as possible. Say. I really don't. There you are. That's much better. Let me check my volume mixer. Maybe Discord got bumped down? Nope. It's fine. OBS got bumped down now. Okay, well, then, now that's normal. Some people were hurt. What are you standing on? Oh, I'm standing on the guy with the pillow stuck in his head. Get out of here. <clears throat> Get out of here. Shit. Please be there. Please. Come find me. Hashtag normal pray shit. <laughs> Well, yeah, I guess it's like if I find something that like is like locked or whatever, I'm like pissed off if I have to then go find something else to come back and unlock it. Because it's like, I'm not going to remember where this is. I'm not going to remember what I'm looking for by the time I get out of here. So I'm much happier if I Have find something tried? and I can do it immediately. Yeah, I just get lost and confused. Huh. And I much prefer just finding something and being able to do it immediately instead of having to go find something else and then get lost and not remember what I'm doing. <laughs> Bolt caster ammunition. I don't know, I really like games that like reward memory and stuff like that. Here we go. I want to find something and do it. Between him and Morgan, it's like a tradition. You family, sorry. I don't know what the hell that said. Sincere as a Danielle show apology? No. 
So I gotta get to the yellow tulip. Let's see how they're important thing. This has to stop. You're right. Get out. I almost got there one time, I think. Good job getting the Pepsi. Shannon. It's upstairs. I'm just smacking this lamp and it's rolling across the floor. And my dad. I started playing Quake for the first time last night. Yeah? It's extremely similar to Doom. It's kind of funny. <laughs> that sounds right to me. <laughs> it's like, got like similar theming, similar, just like absolutely everything. It's just like a little bit more advanced. Because, you know, everything's 3D models instead of, um... Sprites. Sprites, yeah, and like there's more detailed animations on the enemies as a result, stuff like that. And yep. like there's more detailed level geometry. And you can aim up. <laughs> you can aim up and down. That's a big difference. Aiming oh up my god, so down. many shotgun shells. What? Aiming up and down. Yep. Oh, two Neuromods. Wait, wait, we were able to make the screen thing work last time. What changed? I don't know. <laughs> but it was over... Well, the stream has been having issues with getting overloaded all the time lately anyway. And... Huh. Yeah, I don't know. It used to do that years ago. And then it didn't do it anymore. And now it's doing it again and I don't know what changed. Save. Alright, let me look at my inventory here. I should probably use this. Um... Newer mods. I want more leverage. Where's leverage? Oh yeah, this is maximum leverage. I kind of I want to upgrade leverage and repair. So next time I do this, I'll do repair. Here we go. Morph? What the hell is morph? Change shape and dupe your enemies. Oh well, maybe I'll look into that next time. When did I unlock these? Were these always here and I just never looked at them? Or did these get unlocked at some point? Because I swear these weren't here before. Anyway. Maybe I have room for that weapon upgrade kit? No. What can I drop? I can eat that. I can put that there. All right, let's upgrade a weapon, shall we? It doesn't increase the firepower. Not really upgrading the shotgun at all. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. No, no, no. I see how it works. Increase ammo capacity. That would help. Okay. Alright, let's keep going.
You made a tasty salad? I want a salad, too. I might have one of those tonight. So yeah, okay, so now I have maximum leverage. I can just pick up whatever I want. Except for pieces of the level. That's true. But yeah, leverage is super useful. Mm hmm I've noticed that, that's so why I wanted to fully upgrade it. I wish I had. I wish I could have. No needles, though. Alright, we're going upstairs. Gonna try and get to the yellow I tulip. Finished, uh, oh, I finished Mooncrash yesterday. Oh, nice! The DLC. It's, um... Neat. I, I really see. don't think you would have the patience for it. Oh, okay. Cause, like... It's like a randomized thing that ends with a very, very long... Oops. I put some exploration stuff in gray area, and I'm mostly just hoping that it's good, because it's not the kind that I really care for very much. So I hope I've understood what people like with exploration. <laughs> well, you're probably fine. Okay. Because I keep second-guessing myself, it's like, oh, is this, like, annoying? Are people not gonna like doing this? Have I been, like... <laughs> Are my hints that I've given good enough? I don't know. I think it's best just to make it and then see what people think after that. Yeah. Because if it's that bad, you can update it, or you can just leave it and take those lessons for next time, right? Like. I see. <laughs> oh, I'm getting notif- why is Discord on- on my Steam Deck? I was like, where are these Discord notification sounds coming from? That's fair. Like... I can't, Mooncrash uh... basically involves like running through like this randomized thing with five different characters and like one of the objectives that you have to do in order to complete it is have them all escape without resetting. I see. And so it's like five runs as it begins Shit, progressively this is... harder. Okay. I'm going to have to turn the game off and turn it back on because I, I can't oh, no. get rid of Discord without it. Discord defeated Prey today. Yeah. Like, why is it open? Whoops, now I moved the Sonic Origins icon. Okay. Quit Discord. There we go. Sasha was sending messages and it was making little Discord beeps. Sasha destroyed the stream. Yeah, thanks Sasha. You ruined everything. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> The definition of a street okay, sniper. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so she says, oopsie. <laughs> salad. Salad is so good. Oh, good. I like a good salad. I hate a bad salad. <laughs> who's, who's Bethany Esda? Uh, yeah, the you you introduced me to the type of salad that you have uh, at your house, Sasha, and it was really good. And I got the same here now, and I feel the same. It's like, when I finished, it's like, damn, I want more. It's just like a bunch of different types of leaves and then like ranch and then like shredded cheese. It's really good. <laughs> There's like spinach in there, like the purple lettuce. Some other stuff in there. It's really good. Spinach is not the purple lettuce. No, I said and purple lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> well, what attacked me? What, what? Oh, there it is. Okay, uh, 
That's a... <laughs> Whips. I don't like blue cheese. Blue cheese is good. Ranch I do like, though. Blue cheese is stinky. Yes, that's part of why it's good. That's... that's... The reason that I can't stand it. <laughs> yeah, but that's also the reason you can't stand tuna. Yeah, so it I don't smells know if you're to be trusted me. anyway. It smells get me good. Maybe mm. it's just because I don't smell a whole lot in general, so if something smells a strong way, it's like overwhelming. It like weirds you out? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have very little Buffalo sense of smell good. most of the time. What is that? A disruptor stun gun. It's a buffalo chicken. I really need more inventory space. Me too. At least you can get some. It's so funny that you need newer mods for that. Yeah, it's, I guess it's like... Maybe you just get a bit more inventive with where you store things. It's like the storage, it's like the way storage gets increased in, um, Pokemon Legends. Where this guy just teaches you how to fit more stuff in your bag. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> ah, you have extra pockets <laughs> that you didn't know Knock about. Knock out human targets. This the stun guns for humans. It's also for like. Oh, there's a there's a guy over there. It's very good against those little row floaty robots, the operators. Yeah, it sounded like. Ivy song is the bane of my existence lately. What the hell is happening out there? Why do you hate I have a song so much? It keeps ruining my life. How? By getting in my way all the time. What has Ivy song ever done to you? A lot of bad things. Mm, name one. Killing me? Alright, that's not good enough. What? <laughs> okay. You can reload Sorry, my Lana, damn I'm save. Very demanding. Okay. Yeah, I should know about that about you by now. Also, Errol, when are you gonna stream my game? I wanna join you. I don't know. When, is it ready? Yeah, I linked it to you. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Probably sometime this week. Okay. Yeah, let me know when you when you do that, and I'll. I'll come join ya. Right now! Ah! Surprise! Oh no! You ever been half awake? <laughs> so I can chuck big stuff at enemies now. If I wanted to. It's like a fighting maneuver. I like how in this game I'm excited to find dead bodies because they have stuff. <laughs> Most of the time. You hear the word Bane and laugh now? Is that just after you've seen him at the orgy? Well, I lost my sense of smell after I got sick one time, like a decade ago. Like, I couldn't smell anything while I was sick. Or, well, I couldn't smell stuff, but not very well. Which is how I am now. And then, um, after I got over it, the sense of smell never came back. Everything other than the orgy, you're trying to repress memories of the orgy. <laughs> well, to be fair, that's what... Ivy and Harley seem to be doing in 
in universe as well, so. You're not alone. The characters in the show are also trying to forget it. Pointing out the yellow tulip that way. 10 meters. How do I have a flashlight on, but it's still so dark? Oh, okay. There you go. I'm becoming kind of a big fan of uh, classic first-person shooters by now, I think. System Shock 2 not classic? Well, it, I mean, it's... <laughs> it's probably contemporary with um, Quake, actually. Yeah, I think it is. But, like... I just mean, like, classic-styled ones? Because, like, they still make games styled like that nowadays. Or in fact, well, they didn't for a while. They started coming back in the style recently. And there's, yeah. like, several old-styled shooter that I've games. There's one things about that I want to play at some point. Which one in? Uh, it's called Heden, I think. Eden? Heden? H-E-D-O-N. I don't think I've heard of that one. There's, there's quite a few I have seen, though. Like, there's one called Dusk that uh, I've had my sights on for a while. Um, there's... Um, Ion Maiden. I forget what they... <laughs> I think I told you on the stream before, um, about... How that game got sued by the band Iron Maiden. Of course it did. Um, actually, it didn't go to court. They just, like, they just changed the name so they didn't have to get sued, basically. Did you hear about? Um, I don't remember what they changed the name to though. That reminds me. Do you know the game Pray for the Gods? No. It's a sh it's an indie Shadow of the Colossus like. I think it's out or it's in early access. I don't know. I haven't played it yet. But um, they got sued by Bethesda for Pray. Yep. Oh my and god. And so you know what they did? What? They put an A in front of the E in Prey. <laughs> Prey. <laughs> yeah, Prey. <laughs> it doesn't really, like, work, but, like, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> yeah, Ion Maiden completely changed their name to something else. It was unfortunate. I don't remember what it is anymore. But also, yeah, like... the, the devs of this game really didn't want to call it Prey. Oh. From what I've heard. I see. So that was given to them by the publisher, presumably? Yeah, something like that. I say. Um... Yeah, I don't know. What was I gonna say? Yeah, that question. I remember people thought that that was completely ridiculous, though, because, like... Clearly it's not the same as Iron Maiden. And also, that band didn't make up the term Iron Maiden anyway. That's just... Also, it's not even in, like, the same... Exactly! It's, like, not even... It was ridiculous. They just didn't have money to do a court case, so they just folded immediately, basically. So they got yeah. bullied into changing their name, essentially. I don't know what I'm looking for here. Well, I mean, I know what I'm looking for, but I, I mean, I don't know where it is. Maybe it's in here? Because I just got a key card to go in here? What are, you, what are you looking for? More... voice clips. Still not done with that. Hmm. Braid wire. Oops, no, 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 no. Brandy Pester? What a last name, Pester. Can we believe it was intentional? Okay. Take ammo. I need to find another recycler at some point. 
Okay, well this didn't help. This wasn't the right place. Do you have a challenge run of this game where you're constantly drinking? Like every time that you find any alcohol, you drink all of it? <laughs> sure. <laughs> well, that, that'll be my new challenge. I'll add on to this run. The drunk playthrough. Yeah, why not? I don't care. <laughs> You're not gonna snip Sasha Spamton's do it. ass? Sasha do it. What's even the point of having Give us a live review. the plush? Oh, speaking of plushes, I almost forgot. Hey everybody, look what I got. It's the Scrunkly. I got the, the Scrunkly arrived yesterday. There he is. And there's the Dumpy. Yes, don't be confirmed. <laughs> I love him so much. Isn't this the greatest little plush? He's so small and he's so soft. And he's got a little dumpy. And he's so cute. He's my little squinkly. <laughs> I gotta take the tags off of him still. But there you go. <laughs> Alright, I have drank all the booze in him. my closet. Nice. Ah, but there's still plenty of liquor behind the counter. Now I want more of these palm pals. They're all really cute. But this one, this one is just the best one. That's why I got it. <laughs> there's a lot of them. We were looking at them before. And they all have pronouns, by the way. Like, they all have, like, character descriptions. Like, in, uh, um, like, for Beanie Babies. And a whole bunch of them are they, them. So that's good. I'm a fan. Oh, that's a wrench. I always think that the wrench is a shotgun for some reason. Every time I see that icon, I think it's a shotgun. How? It looks like a shotgun, what can I say? No? It looks like the shotgun. Nuh-uh. I, I do not know. <laughs> Where, what am I looking for in here? The yellow tulip. Uh, there's a little cubby. You can maybe turn on the power. There's a little cubby where I can turn on the power? Yeah. Oh. That would probably help. Oh, because it's probably on this computer. I bet she was singing or something. I did find, um, like a little crawl space earlier, but I didn't go in there because I thought I was the wrong way. Hmm. That's probably what you were talking about. Yeah, it's the maintenance tunnel. You ever been half awake? No! I just saw that. Tell Why me can't more. I go in here? It's not letting me in. I'm so Sometimes mad. Sometimes the collision there with the crouching is a little bit fucky, and I don't know why. That's, that's really it. Turn on yellow tulip power. High voltage, authorized personnel only. Well, shit, I hope I was authorized. <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit awkward You're if Morgan I wasn't authorized you. to do that. You're literally like one of the two leaders of this place. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh but, God, but is she authorized in like electrical engineering? The through a speaker? Yeah. Oops. Oh, I broke this window. Oops. Welcome everyone. This is like an amazing achievement. I got 12 hours to go. Where did- what the- Welcome to the tape. It's time for you, Mark Mark. It's time for you, Mark. Share your skill. Ability. Improving the quality of life. And you are to be congratulated. You are the ones who made this whole thing. Let's go ahead and use that. And congratulations to my dear sister, Moria. It was left for her side to assist the marketing <laughs> efforts with the Grand Star Board of Directors. And now, it is toast to Transstar. The new mark. This one is named Ross. And it is he him. But what is success if it can't be shared? By the way, what does it say about him? 
New to Earth, Ross is a galactic tourist waiting to learn more. He's in the whimsical collection. Eco-friendly, printed on recycled paper. Wow. Our plush is doing their part to help reduce plastic usage. Use recycled materials. Wow. Music Neuromon? Listen to Danielle's song. Oh my god. No, what? I see, the music is going to attract enemies to my location. So, I should be prepared for that. It's like some kind of bad dream. There was an enemy in here before. Where did it go? I, lo I love the music. I wish you could just chill it with it. I see. Yeah. Can I go hide in the vent? Can I do it? Can I pull in Among Us? I don't know if they'll leave, but give it a shot. And presumably, you could run away. I think. Okay, I'm in the vent. I can still hear the song. Oh, you have to be in the yellow tulip. I see. So that didn't work. Enemies are 400 feet from your current location and are rapidly approaching. Oh god, how am I gonna do this? Um, you're gonna run up to them and shock on them to death until they stop moving. Does that work? I was like taking so much damage. You can. Another thing... I mean, it's a bit harder because these ones are like... Yeah, these ones are like elemental. But if you can get two charge smacks in with a wrench, they'll fall over. And then you can just kind of repeat well, it. Well, two of them is a tall order. Yeah. I just wish there was somewhere to hide or something. Can I like chuck heavy objects at them? Yeah, yeah, you can do that. You'll have like really effective throws now with, with yeah. having um, your high level leverage. I wish I could repair this turret. I invested in leverage instead of repair first. I'm a big fan of the stuff that repair opens up. Uh huh. I can I can pick up like this huge ass speaker or well I guess it's cargo I can whatever it is it's huge and I can pick it up and hopefully that will help me right, let's give it a go. No! Well, that didn't work. 
Uh... Huh. <laughs> what happened? It wouldn't pick up the thing. Maybe you have to hold it on those ones. No? No, see, now it's working. In the heat of the moment, it wasn't for some reason. I guess it might have been. Oh, I like dropped it. I, oh, yeah, I dropped it. Let me get this stuff out of the way. Now I should be able to pick this up and check it. Okay. Let's try again. Uh, Charlie Brown. <laughs> All right, let's go for it. What? No. Carry blocked? Where are they? There we go. That didn't do much, unfortunately. And they instantly killed me. God damn it. Well, throwing stuff at them doesn't seem to work. I throwed like the really? biggest object I could find and it did it Try to absolutely stay nothing. Objects. This one's leverage one. Where's something leverage to disable, I think. Okay. I'm gonna chuck tables at them. I'm gonna chuck tingles at them. You gonna chuck testa at them? Yeah. What if I just like built a fort or something? <laughs> they, I've seen them break stuff, blockades down like that before, so... The issue is the fire one has ranged attacks. Yeah. What if I had ranged attacks? You like in real guns. life? No, I mean like in real life. Have you ever used, have you ever spit at someone? No. Well, there you go. There's your ranged attack. Oh, okay. Yeah. Be r weird zombie spit, probably. What does that mean? I don't know, like the spitters in Left 4 Dead? Gross, Lena. You're welcome. <laughs> I try. Okay. Alright. It doesn't do anything, I don't understand. Did they like dodge it? Hmm, maybe. Yeah, it's not doing anything. They take like just a piddling amount of damage from stuff being chucked at them. Interesting. Usually oh, that physics. the small object did way more, way more damage than the big one. Maybe it's just because you can throw them better. Could be. Where did you come from? Alright, well, let's set up some small things then. Actually, I'm gonna try again with the larger ones just to. Just to like. Check. Yeah, they seem to just kind of avoid it. If anything. Maybe that was effective? I can't tell. Well, more than anything, I'm just dying. <laughs> the real problem is that I'm- is that I die. Sounds like something you shouldn't do then. Yeah, it's a real skill issue, huh? Yeah, uh-huh.
And as everyone knows, it's all that dying ever is. Why did it get so dark? It's so dark. Well, that one didn't. It's it's so hit or miss whether these damage them. I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't really know what's up with that either. I did like a mat, like a like a third of their health with like the chair somehow. Oh yeah, I said hit or miss. So I guess they never miss, <laughs> huh? That's been stuck in my head again for some reason. That's fun. I think as I said hit or miss like one time, and then after that it was like it became activated. Yeah. No thoughts, only hit or miss. I have that whole thing memorized. I mean, there's not a lot to it, so it's not that um, impressive that I memorized it, but... Yeah, I just die. They kill me so fast. I don't have a chance to do anything against them. I'm just a sitting duck here. Hmm. I'm just a shitting duck. You could try changing your difficulty. I think I'm just on, like, normal, right? I don't know. I didn't pick the highest difficulty, obviously. Oh my god. Lynn just messaged me, what time is the cum hand stream? Yeah, wait, when is that? Probably in about 10 minutes. What is the cum hand stream? Cuphead. That's oh. what Lynn and Cass call Cuphead. Why did that not throw? Oh, there's three of them. I'm losing my mind. Can't pick that up? You're gonna be kidding me. I hit it in the knees, that did a lot. That didn't do anything. Why are the chairs the most effective? Oh god damn it. I hate this so much. This is my least favorite part of the game so far. Oh. This is exactly the kind of thing that stresses me out so much, because it's like, I don't even know what to do! I'm so lost! Uh, honestly, at this point, try throwing a recycler charge at them, try... I was about... Rushing I was, I was just gonna ask, does the recycler affect... Like, yes, these? Yes, a very good weapon. Okay, I thought it only affected, like, mechanical things. It, it affects everything. Okay. Including you, if you're not careful. Yeah, I knew that. Well, I guess that should have clued me in, that I'm susceptible to it. <laughs> but he's getting food. He's all excited. <laughs> he just likes to run laps when, he's, when somebody's bringing him stuff. He doesn't pay much of any attention to you. Like, 90% of the time, but if you've got something for him, he goes wild. <laughs> Silly bunny. There he goes. He starts eating it before it's, like, even sat down. <laughs> Alright, let's try the recycler. I'm a little bit wary to use this because I feel like it's going to delete some stuff that I could use to like chuck at them. It will. Well, I know that. Even the, the chucking chairs at them did the most damage. It does even more than like the shotgun. Oh, I killed one. 
I killed one, I killed one. Nice. I'm gonna play you know what? I'm just gonna play this as if it was like a like a like a just a normal shooter. Like I'm gonna like move around and everything like I'm playing a shooter. <laughs> Who's that? Around and dodge and all that. Just like I normally would. What? What even hit me? Okay, what if... I don't throw the recycler immediately and I wait until they're all like grouped together? Okay. What if Chris is a knight, but not the knight? Oh, because there's two knights in chess? Well, actually, there's four knights if you count both sides. Wait a minute. What if there's not just one knight? What if there's like four of them? Wait a minute. And there's like two good ones and two bad ones or something, maybe? The two sides of the chessboard, the light and the- oh! What if there's two light world knights and two dark world knights? Hmm. Also, I'm back. Hi. Hmm. Hi. Um. So I'm just gonna go over here. Wait until they're all grouped together. What? No, you can't. You can't just come right over here like that. I was trying to wait for them to reach my look. Where are they? Okay, well, there's that guy. He avoided it. They all avoided it. Mm. I guess I just gotta throw it at the first one. Because it's the only one I'm, like, guaranteed to hit on. We have a Dark World King and Queen, so... Th oh, it's still Asgore and... and Toriel. Those are still the King and Queen. Oh my god. You're onto something, Sasha. Okay, yeah, that did a lot. Alright, that one's dead already. Jesus, okay. With the recycler and one shotgun blast. That was enough to kill it. If only had more recyclers. Shit, 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 shit. It's easier to, like, imagine playing this like a regular shooter because of the music. <laughs> this is the most action-y part of this. So far. Okay. Turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. It won't turn off. And then I died. No. I couldn't get out of there. I don't know where to go next. I think the thing is with you, like, does the fire dude just makes, like, fire explosions around them? Yeah, I'm trying They're to avoid those. Yeah. 
It's hard was, to I was sometimes. strafing around trying to avoid those. Yeah, we got stuck on the wall. Um, what happened to my recycler? Oh, it's in my hand. Where is it? No, wait. Wait, I didn't- did I not die? What just happened? Oh, it looks like it saved after you completed the quest, but before you killed the thermal phantom. Oh, well that's nice. Well, thank you, game. I appreciate it. It said I only have 90% of the voice lines. So yeah, hi, Abby. Stream's going well. I'm stressed out by this game once again. I mean, we can. We don't have to finish it. Ah. Uh, oh no, it's Ivy Song. Damn. <laughs> okay, and Castellan will be ready in just a moment. I don't know why the stream is farting so hard lately. What is my... Wow, that's what I look like. You have little to no Typhon material in your system. Well, that's good, I guess. I'm no longer burned, so that's good. We should be in that 2DS tomorrow? Nice, thanks. I will look forward to that. You're getting a 2DS? Yeah, Ruby's just sending me an old one. That's nice. I want it for my collection. <laughs> you gonna get a Nintendo Switch Mini? Uh, we already the have two of those orders. in the house. The light so I don't one? really, yeah, I don't really need my own. We already have two, <laughs> so. We have like four Switch systems in the house because there's my old original one, the OLED Switch, and two Switch lights. So <laughs> we're we're switching it up in this house. I'm really sad that I didn't know about the Splatoon one when I bought this one. Oh, I see. I just had no idea. Yeah. It's fine. It's just the controllers that are different. I think it's no good. It might have like engraving on the dock or something. Maybe. Special editions often have that. Alright, I'm recycling all my junk. No, you're not coming in here. You. Oh. No. Well, that's a good enough place to stop, I suppose. <laughs> Because he streamed for about an hour. I Hey, I got through some difficult stuff. So I'd say that was a productive round of, um... Prey. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, um... I'm gonna have to be right back to find my controller. At some point. Before we switch streams. Yeah, I'll be doing Cuphead with Cass and Lynn, and then um, when that's over, all right, that'll probably be like an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Um, then when that's over, I'm gonna be playing the gray area demo. Hooray! You get the dev playing her own game. So <laughs> it's been a while since I've streamed my own game because it's been a while since I've had a game finished enough for me to stream it. But yeah, there you go. Um, thanks for joining, Airhel. Yeah. I'll join you on your stream when you stream, uh, Gray Area. Mm-hmm. 
And then, um... I'll see you next week as well. We'll do more Prey. Uh, it yep. should be a longer stream next time. I'm going to try to get up earlier, and also I won't have been working really hard getting a demo out the previous night, so... <laughs> uh, yeah. Hopefully we make good progress next week. Um, Bye. Yeah. Bye, Ariel. Thanks for joining. Bye. Bye. Okay, I'm going to be right back to go grab my controller, and then I'm going to call... Um, Cass and Lynn, and we will play Cuphead.